So as you can see, it's storming out right now. So I figured we would come inside, turn on the fireplace, get a little cozy, and check out a fragrance. The fragrance that I wanted to go over tonight is from the house of Icon de Parfum. I've been enjoying this particular house. They make some really unique sort of designs. I love the name for everything. I love the presentation on everything. I've obviously slapped this bottle a little bit. This particular fragrance, 623. I wanted to revisit this fragrance because this fragrance just smells absolutely amazing. First off, the atomizer. Just a blast of that. As I stated in my previous video when I went over this fragrance, when you spray this, you're gonna get, it's gonna coat your hand or whatever area you spray with a nice amount of oil. It's gonna give you that cooling effect from the alcohol, but it's not gonna leave any blotches or any just droplets. It's gonna be a really fine mist and almost like a nearly dry application. And it's just a nice even coat of oil uh, on the skin. This is what I got here from that spray. So let's do it again. And that's what I got. No droplets, no thick or wet application. Hits the skin sort of dry with a little bit of a cooling effect. Nice fine mist. And you're just left with a beautiful fragrance. I wish you guys can see like this gorgeous sort of green juice that this has going on. Really just really dope presentation. Like this black wood grain sort of design on the cap. Cap holds really well. And I, I love that 620, 23 at the bottom. Really dope. The notes for this fragrance is bergamot, black pepper, cactus, orange, plum, rose, sandalwood, as well as vanilla. Just a beautiful beautiful scent and it's just it's addicting to me and i'm always spraying it i just love how it contact with the skin is dry got that lovely uh coat of oil that hits the skin but it's not real heavy it's not real blotchy or anything like that and you just get like this smooth super smooth sweet is lightly sweet kind of boozy musky scent the rose isn't overpowering or anything like that it doesn't come to come through too feminine or anything the sandalwood is a really good addition to this as well adding just like this it's a creaminess that the vanilla is also bringing but there's a creaminess that that sandalwood brings and it's just a little bit of a add another dimension a little bit of a different facet to it in the initial opening of this fragrance, you're going to get that bergamot and that orange really loud. The black pepper is going to do a little bit of a dance with that orange as well. After those two, that sandalwood, that plum, that's what you're going to get the most of. I can't necessarily recognize cactus. It's probably dancing around really well in this composition, but it's not something that I can pinpoint as of yet and be able to point out that that's what that is. What you're going to get for the majority and the duration of the fragrance towards the latter side of it it's going to be that plum that really nice rose that really toned down rose the sandalwood as well as that vanilla creaminess from that sandalwood along with that creaminess from that vanilla it's going to add a really pleasant smooth close to the skin uh, type of a fragrance this isn't something that's going to jump out and and project off of the skin a whole lot You'll be able to catch it, and it's a wonderful fragrance to catch in the air, but it's not something that's going to really jump off of that skin and project a whole lot. It's something that is going to be very alluring. It's going to be very alluring for yourself because you're going to catch it on you on your own skin a whole lot while you're wearing it, which is why I've like slapped this one so much because I love just being able to go back in, smell it, or refresh it. I love that sort of effect that the atomizer has on the skin and it's just really pleasant how it applies that fragrance to the skin like i said still got a really nice little layer of oil but it evenly coats it's not like big blotches or anything like that i can't stress that enough how much i actually appreciate that aspect right now on their website you can pick this up for 40 dollars. this is a 50 ml bottle here 
wonderful presentation, really nice and solid, and something you would definitely be proud to have in your collection. Like I said, this kind of, the way that it looks and the way that it's kind of presented, especially with the, the 23 and the number 23 on her, it definitely gives me like that Michael Jordan, I don't know if it's legend, it's one of those fragrances that this particular design just kind of, kind of reminds me of just a little bit. Oh man, as I said, you're going to get a sweet, musky, sort of like a rolling, a light, subtle rolling spice between that pepper and that orange. You're going to get that sandalwood and that, and that creamy, musky vanilla is going to come in as well, sit alongside that plum for the, dura for the duration of that dry down. Excellent fragrance, excellent price point, excellent presentation. I will drop a link in the description where you guys can check out these fragrances for yourself. He have a few other offerings on his website as well and everything is just really purposely done the note the choosing of the notes you can tell it comes from a, a very personal place they're not just cookie cutter as far as the types of notes he's using and the placement of the notes i love the fact that this fragrance is very very balanced uh, nothing really jumps out nothing stands out more than the other everything is balanced and everything serves its purpose at the right moment everything is just the right amount of everything that's listed in that particular fragrance listen that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys soon peace